All right, what's going on guys? I just got out of watching Creed 3. I'm in the parking deck right now for a little out of theater reaction. This is not a review of the movie, just my quick social media reaction. I'll have a full review, I believe sometime tomorrow, but people are driving, people are walking all around. Let's talk about the movie non-spoiler. I went in with massive expectations because I loved, you know, the first two Creed movies, which I rewatched right before this one. And I'm personally a little bit disappointed. Now, I did not hate this movie. I thought it was solid, very entertaining, enjoyable movie. But there were a few things that just kind of disappointed me. Notably, and it's the elephant in the room here, the absence of Rocky Balboa, especially, you know, in moments where there's supposed to be uplifting motivational sequences. I could have used like a Rocky quote or two, and that was just a little upsetting. I really, you know, thought that Jonathan Majors carried the movie. I think that him as the antagonist, very well fleshed out here. That wasn't a disappointment at all. You know, it's just... I can't go too in-depth here. I really want to, guys, as there's a whole family getting in a car in front of me, by the way. So, hello, how you doing? But um, it was just a little disappointing to me, especially the way they handled the third act of the film. Felt a little rushed and a little anticlimactic. And I'm not sure, like, how necessary the movie's existence really was. If you guys have seen Creed 2, I thought that was a perfect ending. But it still has a lot of heart to it. It's a very good family drama, almost, like, functions better as a family drama to me than anything else. But I can't say too much else here. Um, I think it's, uh, I can't say that yet. Nope. <laughs> I want to say so many things, guys, so stay tuned for my review coming. But in terms of the Creed trilogy, it may be the weak link, but it still has a lot of highlight moments here. I'm overall enjoyed the movie. I have to sleep on it for sure. But man, I wanted to love this thing, and I came out thinking, you know, that was solid, but I had a fair share of issues, more than I would like to admit with it. But that's just my quick out-of-theater action for Creed 3. I think the fights are probably shot the worst, and... You know, that's kind of a bummer for a movie like this. But the family drama is a win here. And again, it has its highlight moments for sure that are going to get the audience going. But again, what do you guys think of Creed 3? What are your expectations? Let I me mean, know in the comments down below. Be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to that notification bell. and try and hit 71,000 subscribers here on the channel. And stay tuned for my actual review coming later this week. I just saw the movie 10 minutes ago. Very fresh, running on adrenaline here. And uh, have to, you know, recuperate sleep and really put my thoughts into this one. Because I have a lot to say. So stay tuned for that review. Thank you guys for watching. Go watch a boxing movie. Go watch Creed. Creed 1 and 2 are bangers. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.